I know lots and lots of you are concerned about schools shutting and some of your schools are shut already whether it's for a deep clean or whether it's something to do with the effects of the recent flooding and I know China shut schools and Italy shut the schools and Iran shut the schools so it is obvious with the exams coming up that you would be concerned about your schools shutting so this is what we're going to do i'm going to explain what i think is going to happen what the options are for the exams what you should do while you're at home if um all of the schools are shut and what i am going to do to help you out um because that is what i'm here for helping you and getting us cuddle getting us through this together so first of all i do not think the government is going to shut all the schools there is no indication in any of the um documents that i read any of the documents that were released from ofqual during the exams committee um that they're going to be shutting the schools however if they do shut all the schools i think there are three possibilities for what could happen with gcse and a level exams so the first possibility is that the schools reopen just for the exams so um the exam timetable goes ahead as normal and the schools are just open for year 11 and year 13 students just to sit exams and the way that the the specifics i hate that word specifics um for each school are going to be different for each school some schools might still do it in big halls some schools might decide to spread you out a little bit and do it in classrooms to prevent the um spread if the these schools don't open for the exams they could just be pushed back later so having the exact same timetable except not in may and june it could be in september or october when the worst of this is all over that is another possibility the third possibility which some of you will love and some of you will hate is that you just get given a grade based on your teacher assessment and based on potentially your mock results or some combination of those things now i do not think the last one is very likely which i know some of you are not happy about your mock results so that will be a relief for some of you um i just don't think that one's very likely to happen or i think you are going to be sitting exams i think you are probably going to be sitting exams in may and june so just keep up with your normal revision try not to worry too much about anything that's going on um however if your school is shut or you do self-isolate for whatever reason try and stick to your timetable so the timetable you would have at school if you are stuck inside the house try and stick to that timetable now i know it's not going to be fun while you're at home getting up and doing maths at nine o'clock on a monday morning for example but it's going to be the easiest thing for you because you don't have to do any planning of a timetable you don't have to do any working out of what things going to go there just stick to your school timetable now this is going to be much easier than trying to work out whether you need to do three hours of maths or four hours of english or an hour of dt or whatever it is um because the school's already done that planning for you in your timetable so just get up and work from nine have an hour break for lunch and then work till three or four o'clock and then maybe do a couple of extra hours of revision in the evening but sticking to your school timetable is actually going to be a really really good thing for you to do now in your timetable in in your revision at home just do sensible revision practices so like using your um flashcards trying to get as many um past papers done as possible trying to do kind of like um as many multiple choice questions as possible which are a brilliant brilliant thing for revision um lots obviously you guys should know this by now loads and loads of free stuff loads and loads of stuff that you can pay a little bit for which you can download immediately from my website and you don't have to print off you can use it all on your phones in the unlikely event that the government does decide to shut all the schools then i will be your teacher i mean i'm already your teacher at the moment but i'll start doing lessons so uh random time 11 o'clock on tuesday i'll do a physics lesson and then 11 o'clock on wednesday i'll do a biology lesson i will get a whiteboard and i will prop it up somewhere and i will just basically start teaching you so you can i don't know i'm making things up now suggest topics and we will just go over and do this because if you guys are stuck at home you might go a little bit stir crazy and just having somebody to talk to <laughs> 
talk to, interact with other students is going to be really, really important. So if the government does decide, decide to shut all the schools, then I'll just start daily live streaming and chances are most of that will just be me answering questions and potentially quite a lot of waffling rubbish but I will also say kind of like Wednesday 11 o'clock I'll go over balancing equations and then Thursday 11 o'clock I'll go over expanding brackets you know these might only be like little 10 minute videos and then kind of like I might do two or three videos a day but if it is all shut then do not worry I will take over as your teacher and don't just think that your teachers, if the school's shut, that your teachers are just going to get loads and loads of time off. They will be all over that emails, emailing you work, putting work up on Twitter for you, work up in your school's um, VLE if you've got one. They will be busy as well. So your school will not abandon you. I will not abandon you. Um, we will all still be working really, really hard to make sure that you have the chance to get really, really good grades in your um, exams. Now there are a few other things that if you've got the, 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 um, the chance to do this that you might find useful. If there is something that you're particularly stuck on then online tutoring is actually a really really useful thing. Um, you don't have to get a tutor that you see in person, you can do it online and then you don't actually have to leave the house or have somebody come over to your house. Um, there are, I'm going to put a link down in the description to a couple of um, the people that make the maths and the humanities videos for this channel and they are brilliant at it so that is something you might want to consider. Um, try and get your hands on as many many practice papers from school um, already so that you don't have to print them off at home and like I don't want to say start stockpiling things because that sounds like uh, there's going to be an emergency coming up. Um, but you know just get a few papers and keep them at home and you know maybe go and buy an extra packet of flashcards and some extra pens or something um, but if the schools are shut then that is what we are going to do now just as a general bit of advice don't panic don't go around like licking other people's faces or licking other people's hands or start licking poles on the tube or anything like that. But the best thing you can do is just sensible hand washing procedure. Do extra hand washing. When you come in from outside, wash your hands. Um, 20 seconds with soap and water is really, really the best thing that you can do. Um, so good luck guys. Uh, please try not to let this stress you out too much. Um, I don't think the schools are going to shut, but if they do, um, I will do so many live streams and put so many videos out for you that you will hate me, hate the sight of my face by the end of it. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.